Hello guys, this is Damien from forexbolt.com and welcome back to our video examples on the live forex trading account. We remind that the trade you will see here is with and only educational purpose. So currently I'm looking at the 15 minute chart of the British pound American dollar forex pair also known as the cable. And as you see I have an indicator attached to the bottom of my chart. This is the stochastic oscillator. Now before I start doing what I'm going to do now I'm going to briefly explain what the stochastic oscillator is about. Uh, first the stochastic is a leading indicator meaning that um, it usually gives the signals below the event has actually occurred on the chart. For this reason the indicator is a very good uh, tool for uh, setting early entry points on the chart which makes it great isn't that perfect right? However the disadvantage of the leading indicators and oscillators uh, is that they tend to give a lot of false signals. Therefore it is always good to use the leading indicators in combination with something else. For example additional indicator on the chart or some kind of a pattern. Now let me tell you something about the calculation of the stochastic. There are two lines of the stochastic oscillator. So the first one is this red line over here and this blue line over here. So the blue line is called, uh, we call it the K line, the stochastic line. So this line is uh, the faster line and it's being calculated by subtracting the lowest low of the look back period from the current price and then dividing the results by the highest high minus the lowest low and the result you get you multiply by 100. I'm not sure that you're going to remember this formula but I mean if you have difficulties understanding it simply re reverse the video back and try to listen to it one more time or simply message me in the comments below or whatever I'll be happy to answer to you and the other line is a um, three period moving average of the stochastic line. Stochastic line, three period moving average, the red line over here. Okay, so what is the lowest low? As I said, the lowest low from the formula, this is the lowest point from the look back periods. This means that the stochastic oscillator can be adjusted to take certain periods into consideration. The default parameter of the stochastic oscillator suggests the usage of 14 periods um, for calculating the line. Notice that the most of the MetaTrader platforms uh, when you put the stochastic oscillator on it will be adjusted to take only five periods into consideration. So I uh, specially adjusted my stochastic oscillator to take into consideration 14 periods in order to make it at its default value. And the highest high is the highest point from the look back period. So lowest low is the lowest point in the last 14 periods, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So it's probably this point over here. And the highest point is this one over here. And then we multiply the result of the formula by 100 in order to move the decimal to places uh, in order to get to make the, the number like a, like a whole thing, to make it vary between 0 and 100. So the oscillator has two zones, an overbought zone over here between 80 and 100 and an oversold zone between 0 and 20. So when the indicator goes into the overbought zone, this is um, a signal that the price is likely to decrease. There are a lot of buyers and probably the forex pair is overbought, so it's likely to create a turning point on the chart. When the indicator goes into the lower, the oversold zone, it gives absolutely the opposite signal. The pair is probably oversold and uh, the price is likely to increase. As you see, currently, the indicator got out of the overbought zone, which is a long signal. But as I said, the stochastic gives a lot of, a lot of false signals. Therefore, I intend to do something else. I'll zoom out my chart and I will spot something like a bearish tendency over here. 
like a resistance zone. This blue line marks this resistance zone. As you see, the price is currently bouncing off this level. So as a result, I assume that this bounce in a combination with the short stochastic signal is a good reason to enter a short trade. Let's see if I'm able to spot something else. Do we have a trend here? No, the line is still so far away. So what I'm going to do now is to sell, to short the pound. Uh, I mean to short the cable, the British pound, American dollar for a pair. Here it is for half lot. Uh, the price moved very fast, so I wasn't able to sell. So I'm selling now. Here it is. The trade is executed. As you see, the price started moving very vol volatility. So I'm placing my stop loss order above. For example, this stop over here because it looks like a little bit higher than the last stop on the chart was caused by a big bullish gap and high volatility. So I, I would like to contain this stop as well with my stop loss order. So this means I'm going to place it somewhere at 1.2842, for example. Here it is. Stop loss order placed. And I'm going to stay into my trade until... The stochastic oscillator gives me an opposite signal, meaning that I will stay in the trade at least until the price reaches the oversold area, touches it, not necessarily enter like this over here, but touch it. And also another trigger of my exit from this trade will be if I see some kind of a chart or a candle pattern on the chart that might bring hesitation to my decision over here. Um, what else can I do now? Yeah, the other thing I tend to do is to place a take profit order, although I'm not going to use that take profit order to, to exit the trade, but I'm going to use signals from the stochastic and from the price action on the chart. Nevertheless, I'm going to put a take profit order and I'm going to put it somewhere over here at this support zone. Notice that we have some like a support zone over here, like around 1.27 around 1.2780 maybe yeah it's a some kind of a round number as you know i like putting meaning in my level so i'm going to use this level take profit order goes over here in case the price creates a sharp decrease in bearish direction and then it goes back to where it was so if this happens, I would hope that the price will hit my take profit order because this is going to be a, like a very big move, just in case. And at, at the same time, I, I'm not like aiming for a very big move because when you trade with the stochastic, I mean, sometimes the moves will not be that, that big. Uh, and I'm going to give you some kind of an example because the, the bearish impulse here is pretty decent. It's from here. Uh, yeah, it starts from, yeah, for example, the signal comes over here and you trade like something like this size over here, which I'm going to mark with a rectangle for you now. Well, yeah, in this case, for example. Uh, in the previous case, you have uh, the signal comes somewhere over here, but the price increases. This might lead to a stop loss. And here... The signal comes over here to here, which is like very small. Something like this. And these are pretty small moves. This is why I adjusted my stop loss order like uh, like looser in order to be able to 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 get up to collect in case the price decides to do like a big bearish move. Caused by high volatility and high trading volumes. Now let me mark these levels on the chart. Let's position the take profit order in a better way. Yeah, somewhere at 1.2704. Here it is. Now let's mark. Uh, let's change the color of my take profit order. I'm gonna put it in green because green symbolizes like a good thing, profit. So my entry point I'm going to mark with white. Here it is. 
on point 28 18 for example and my stop loss order i'm gonna mark with red as i usually do at 1.2842 Here it is. And I'm gonna mark it with red because of course. The thing is is the thing is that I don't expect to get like a that big move over here, like from 1.2818 to 1.2780, which is like almost 40 pips move. But uh, I will hope to get something like like the previous moves I showed with the rectangle, like the one over here. Which was like that big, or the one that came over here, which was mm, here. It is it, it appeared over here? Yeah, it, it's it's actually very small, by the way. Yeah, so I, I will hope to get some like uh, 20, 30 pips maybe from this trade, but I assume that this might appear to be a very good trade. Furthermore, we see like when I switch to the five minute chart. I see some kind of a consolidation on the chart, which at first sight resembles a head and shoulders chart pattern. However, I cannot say that this is a head and shoulders pattern because the second shoulder goes slightly higher, and at the same time, the bottoms between the at the base of the head are like inclined in bearish direction, which is like making the pattern not very stable. Not sure. But it's a, it is some kind of a consolidation and the current volatility shows that the price is really fighting. At the same time when I connect the head and the shoulder, the second shoulder with like this yellow line. And these two bottoms, I see like a descending tops, descending bottoms uh, chart pattern which suggests that the price might be starting an increase after an interaction with the blue resistance line I drew like in the beginning of the video so now i'm going to pause this record and i'm going to get back to you with some results from this trade okay guys i'm back about 30 minutes later to show you that the price of the british pound american dollar has been decreasing sharply and it is almost at my take profit order and by the way, the current 15 minutes period is about to be finished. Uh, also notice that the stochastic line is already in the oversold area. So if this period finishes like this and the stochastic line stays in the oversold period or, or, or in the oversold area, I apologize, or touches it, I will immediately close the trade without, without hesitation, without waiting for the take profit order to be hit. So now I'm waiting for the price action to create that move to finish the period the period was finished so i close my trade all set i closed at 1.2786 let's write this down one point twenty seven eighty six at the same time i entered at one point twenty eight eighteen 18 which is like uh, like 32 pips profit from this trade now we're going to do some calculations let's reassure that it is like 34 pips It's 32 pips, I apologize, uh, 32 pips profit from this trade, which is like 0 0.0032 uh, taken from the exchange rate of the British pound American dollar. And when I divide this number by my entry price, which was 1.2818, I got the result of uh, 0 0.0024 and when I multiply this number by 100, I get the percentage profit from this trade, which is like 0 0.25, nearly 0.25% for like half an hour. This is like a perfect trade. And this is what the power of the stochastic oscillator is, by the way. 
but uh, I will repeat one more time that if power appears when you use it in a combination with a, a different like tool or indicator or whatever. In my case, I use this blue bearish like trend line over here. Have a look at it, which is acting as a resistance level, has been acting as a resistance level during the past like uh, five days. And since the price tested this line for three times and the third time it created a bounce while the stochastic was in, was getting out of the overbought area, I decided that this is a good signal that the price, uh, that the price is probably going to make a decrease. At the same time, I noticed that the, the decreasing tops and bottoms chart pattern, which was additional confirmation of my trade. And as you see now, the price is hesitating near the area which I used to close my trade. Notice that these candles are smaller and the current candle is attempting to be bullish. So this is probably the end of the price decrease, meaning that the stochastic oscillator gave me like the best possible entry point in this case. So thank you very much for watching. This was Damian from ForexGold.com. Make sure you click on the subscribe button, which is located at the bottom right corner of this video. I'm looking forward to see you on the next Forex trading session. And until then, I wish you happy and safe Forex trading.